Right out, morning number two. Um, yeah, I was supposed to go and chase a few pigs around this morning, but we had a fair bit of rain there in a couple of spots last night. So to get into where they were, I got about five or six k's of cultivation to drive across, so that wasn't going to happen. Come down here and check another area. Just walking in, I've probably seen, I don't know, 30 odd females so far. So. Wouldn't be a bad spot for an old buck to be hanging around, but yeah, she's still very early days. So. Get up here and try and put like, one more camera to put out, find somewhere to put it, hopefully. And um, yeah, might have a couple of rattles in a couple of little quiet gullies here if we see something that looks all right. We'll see where we go. Just got a couple of pigs feeding along this gully. I don't know whether there's anything too big in them, but I still haven't tried to pick with the weaponings. I'll take this opportunity if I can. And sling an arrow in one. Damn. By no means a monster at all. Still got to shoot one with a new weapon, which I'm sure probably would have happened anyway if I waited. But can have a look at the big unit. Jeez, even smaller than I thought it was, to be honest. What a pig. And I get up here and see if we can find a deer, eh? I can hear the does up in here everywhere. So, hopefully a few bucks have moved in. Right, I just decided to jump up a bit higher here and give another go. Um, yeah, end up bringing in a young buck and then a spike. And I just stood up from where we were rattling. There's another young buck standing right on me, so. I've always seem to respond a little bit better to these rattles, I reckon, when it gets a little bit later in the morning. So. Like I say, I'm not going to go too mad. We'll work a couple of these little gullies in here. And, um, yeah, that'll sort of bloody do me hopefully fine. I haven't seen any scrapes as far as I've Hopefully find somewhere to put my camera out.
Oh shit. Yeah, that sounds like it's coming up through here. Any young bloke you want to shoot her anyway, but I'd just walk down here. Oh well, keep trying. Can hear all the does just down here. See feet coming through the trees here. I hope it was going to be a big old buck in the night. He was just wandering along there. Anyway, geez, it's hot again. It's supposed to be raining and cold. Oh, Deer run around here everywhere. There'll definitely be some big old bucks moving here, I think. If they're not here already, laying low. I reckon this old piggy was here long ago. Right behind you. I don't know, this gully has always been a pretty good little gully to pull a buck in. A couple of fresh rubs over there. So I'll give him a crack with his big horn. They need him with a rattle and their yeah, fingers crossed we can bring one in, eh? See something moving up in there. Oh, definitely a deer. What sort of deer? I don't know. Oh, you're good. 
Well, we need to be going down there. But it just comes straight up through here like I was hoping. Man, it would be good here if you bloody didn't have all these pines. You don't stand over about 40 yards. If it had just come straight through here, he would have been straight in my lap. Uh, he cut wide, like he was, wasn't even going to come here, eh? I'd say he's got a scrape or something up there, he's cut a bit wide. And yeah, come straight through here. Got it there. And you need him to pop out in that gap there. Anyway, that, that's what happens. Right, uh, well, I just chucked the camera up in there where that buck was. There's a bit of a scrape up in there, so... Generally, every year, there's a buck holds this gully here, so... Um... Yeah, it definitely looked alright, but like I say, it all happened in a split second there, so... The old big horn, giving a few grunts. As soon as I grunted out that big horn, I seen something coming through that pine there, but... Yeah, he just... Like I was sitting just over in here. He just come wide here. I thought he might have had a scrape here. He'll get a little bit wider. Well, that's what he was doing, like he was heading over to check it's great. And he, yeah, he'd come back in, but I'd say he was just, um, given it's a bit early and he probably wasn't really expecting it too much. He might have just come a bit wider trying to pick that. Cause the wind's cutting down that creek there, I'd say he might have just tried to nab a bit of that wind. Um, yeah, anyway, probably saved his life doing what he'd done. Up more steps and he would weigh in about probably 10 metres. So. Anyway, she's only the 3rd of March now, so plenty of time. Yeah, look, I say I got that big crew of gun hunters turning up here, so I'd like to try and get eyes on a couple half decent ones and yeah, get a couple on the ground before they show. But I don't think they're going to have too much backward step in them by the sound of it. Anyway, see what next weekend brings, eh? Oh, yeah. The second one I found this morning, actually, the other one was pretty white, so I left it just as I'm heading here. Like, the buck is only just up in there. You can hear a buck going way out in the distance there. He's having a proper go at it there for a minute, he's a long way away though. He can stay there, I reckon. Shot that pig with an expand oh, fuck. Jesus, they make <coughs> She makes a popper noise when she hits him, that's for sure. 
I don't think I'd like to shoot a 90 kilo ball. Big old set of shoulders on him with one. <coughs> but that pig didn't go far. Hopefully I can find it. Hopefully. Down the right here somewhere. Didn't really like my chance. Especially the last couple of months. Got some shit glue because, you know, right here though. Tell me flights, man. Let me know. That's the one I shot the deer with yesterday. Just give it a bit of a touch up. So I should be good to go again, actually. A pig. I'm sure we use them there, I think. I'm sure we're over there, there are you? So they're not something I'd bloody I'll be using every day but yeah I've been fascinated with the way the Yanks use them and rave about them so I figured I'd give a couple a go. <laughs> 